Alexandre Santos, an international chef from Brazil, first tested positive for COVID-19 in March. A healthy 40-year-old living in New York, he recovered after three weeks and returned to work. However, while traveling back to Brazil in August, he suddenly became ill and once again tested positive for COVID-19. I did an antibody test in the uh, end of uh, May and it still showed me antibodies. So uh, it was a big surprise to me. Very strong symptoms. Right. He says his second time being infected with the virus has been far more difficult than the first. Uh, the symptoms have been very different, very strong migraines. I've been dizzy and I have a buzz inside of my head for most of the time. And I lost some at some point as well my motor coordination. I'm still feeling tired for doing small jobs. Yesterday I was dizzy in my kitchen, just helping my wife to put dishes away. I'm still dizzy. Alexandre's experience is contradictory to the commonly held notion that recovery from a first-time COVID-19 infection is enough to create immunity against the virus. As COVID-19 continues to spread, sustained exposure has been disproportionately affecting healthcare professionals, leading to illness or death and possibly a shortage of frontline medical workers. Dr. Amalia Becerra is the director of the Hospital Metropolitano in Monterrey. The healthcare sector is small compared to the wider society, and we are living through hell. There are many things we still don't know, many behaviors we still don't understand. We are getting sick, we are being hospitalized, and we are dying because we are treating patients, and society continues to ignore the problem. However, one of Mexico's leading epidemiologists, Dr. Alejandro Macias, argues that poor testing standards may be giving patients like Alexandre the wrong impression. Don't forget that at the beginning there were plenty of uh, testing kits with very low quality. So you never know. Uh, that's, a, that's the big problem. We don't really know which is the extent of the phenomenon of reinfection. For what I see in my patients, is very rare, but also from reports, it's clear it's, it's in reinfection, but still it seems to be a very rare phenomenon. Whether or not his first infection was a false positive, Alexandre, now unsure if his life will ever be the same again, still says caution is key. Uh, my message would be there's a lot of people that this virus doesn't mean nothing to them. They say they're not scary about it. You know, they should really be careful and take care to don't get the virus because we're still causing a lot of problems for a while for the world society. Alastair Bavastock, CGTN, Mexico City.